Although, we finally did, Santa. It took us who knows how long, but we finally delivered toys to all the good girls and boys across the world. Especially thanks to the help of... Oh, hey, how's it going? You guys are finally back. Where were you? I was just here delivering toys. Yeah, you know, with those Amazon drone things, they really made the job easier this time of year. Hey, uh, by the way, would you guys like a mojito? Now, it makes sense that since it's Christmas, you'd want to check out a Christmas film. And there's a whole plethora of classics that are well worth checking out. From Home Alone to Miracle on 34th Street, It's a Wonderful Life, Die Hard. Well, I just found an all-new Christmas classic that I really do believe everyone should watch when it, whenever December comes rolling around. The Netflix exclusive, Claws. Now, the film itself is actually an origin story for how the legend of Santa got started. In this universe, it was started thanks to a uh, spoiled little brat who has been sent off by his dad to become a successful postman in order to keep his privileged life. And he ends up involuntarily teaming up with an old hermit toy maker to try to re reach the quota set by his dad, but along the way he learns what the true meaning of what it means to be selfless and to help others while also helping yourself. Which is a great message to teach kids and is handled with enough care and intelligence that adults can get in it all as well. And the artwork for this movie is just beautiful and stunning. Like, this is a beautiful revival of traditional two-dimensional animation that drew heavy inspiration from the Disney Renaissance era. You can so easily tell they recreated things like Disney's Deep Canvas. And everything from the motion to the expression on the characters, it's all just a work of art in every possible way. Right down to the sound design, too. And a lot of the jokes in the, st in the movie, too, <laughs> they're actually great. The humor here is really clever and on point. And the main character, he's also enjoyable for as he tries to reach his goal and get out of the village he's been exiled to. And the other characters are enjoyable too for what they offer, and they all undergo some meaningful character development, with the exception of Claus himself. He's more or less the same person he was at the end of the film as he was at the beginning, but that's really not a bad thing. We do get some explanation as to why that's the case. And really, I've only got one major complaint with the film, and that's the fact that it's bogged down in modernity, or should I say it's tainted by modernity. While the film itself, for the most part, is very much timeless, it doesn't try to date itself, it is defined by its era by a handful of tropes here and there, such as the use of some modern music in one scene, or doing some memes in another that are really subtle, but if you see them, it's essentially the faint scars on an otherwise beautiful and flawless face. But considering that's the only complaint I've got with the film, that's perfectly a-okay. If you're looking for something to watch uh, this holiday season, Claws is well worth firing Netflix up for. It evokes the same sense of joy and wonder that early Disney did back in the day, and considering the director was heavily involved in the Disney Renaissance, it's easy to see how he was able to recreate those feelings. So if you're looking for something to watch that's Christmas themed and you haven't watched Die Hard a thousandth time already, check out Claws. You are going to love it. Well, looks like I'm almost completely caught up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you really liked it, then please, by all means, feel free to also hit the subscribe button, and of course like it, that'll help me out in the algorithm. Now the next video is going to be a list of the top 5 and bottom 5 movies of 2019, then after that I'll start getting into some all new, all fresh movie reviews. Now, as for game reviews this month, I think I might take a look at Path of Exile, actually take a look at the nitty gritty of that as best I can, but I might take a look at some other games instead, some other things have caught my eye like deep space derelicts. Just have to wait and see for now, so please like usual, stick around.